No, but 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 wait, you're not. You hear me out. Hear me out on one other simple point. What are you are only talking about the expenditure side. What about the revenue side? The yeah. fiscal deficit is expenditure minus revenue. Yeah. What about the revenue? No, now you're shifting the argument. You're shifting the goalposts in the middle. Why is there so much of tax evasion? Now you're shifting the goalposts. Why is there so much? No, no, no. Now you're shifting the goalposts because you are on dodgy ground on the first point. No, 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 no. You are, you are shifting the goalposts because if you are discussing deficits, you have to discuss expenditure. Minus revenue. Yeah. Why aren't you discussing revenue? Okay, so you want to discuss you revenue? Okay, let's discuss revenue. No, no, let's discuss revenue. Okay, one sec. One sec. Uh, I want, uh, Prakash Javadkar, I'm coming to you. Why, I'm not one rich, minute. Praka, why one second. The rich in our when country pays let us taxes? let us discuss revenue. Okay. So one way of discussing yes. revenue is disinvestment. The government has set a disinvestment <laughs> target. <laughs> of th <laughs> one minute. Taxes. See, there again you're jumping. The, one the minute. Taxes? I'm not going to say what is convenient to you. <laughs> the government has set a dis what I'm not going to say what is convenient to you. I'm going to ask my question. The government has set a disinvestment target of thirty thousand crores <laughs> of thirty thousand crores in two thousand twelve thirteen. It is expected that the proposed take sales will only fetch some eighteen twenty thousand crores. In 2011-12, the finance ministry could raise only some thirteen or fourteen thousand crores as against the target of forty thousand crores. And you know why? You know why? It's because of the opposition of the left. You tell me. It's because yeah. of the opposition of the left. Yes. It's because it's because it's beca so. Right. So you did, you said yeah. right now. Let's discuss revenue. I discuss revenue on revenue. Also, you are blocking. No wait. So so allow me. So what do you want? You to explain the opposition of the left. Huh. Do you do you know the annual revenue mobilization figures of our country? It no, 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 to no, the no. tune of six lakh seven. I have crore. told you there is a hole to fill. Thirty thousand, forty thousand crore rupees. No, so you that's what I'm saying. You are not looking at the elephant in the room. I, what I, about taxes? Disinvestment <coughs> targets itself are 30, 40,000 crore. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about taxes? Why so can't so we raise more taxes from the rich in our country? That is you, the you most can... important point. Dr. Swami wanted to come in. I, I, have, I have taken you on on two points. Dr. Swami wanted to come in. Soil said wants to come in. Prakash Jaudekar wants to come in. Let's have a quick final round. Subramaniam Swami, do you agree with this argument presented by Mr. <coughs> Bose this evening? Now, how can I? Uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, if you really want to plug these holes for raising revenue, all these exemptions you give into the corporate sector, close them, uh, abolish it. You will get plenty of money. Then yes. the, uh, uh, way, uh, the cheap rates yes. at which you have given natural resources, you give it at the market price, you will get plenty of yes. revenue. <coughs> it requires a little yes. imagination. This yes. government is bereft of ima imagination. What can we do? Well then, Soil State will stand, uh -huh. stand up and Corporate India will come and say that's unfair. So I agree with I I, I agree with Dr. Yeah, well, that's where he, no, no, that's no, where no, his hypocrisy minute. will come. Soil, one minute. Yes, let me. Yes, let me let me let me say this. By all means, have fair pricing of natural resources, and I've said this before on your channel. But to do one right, or for not having done one right, don't prevent the one wrong from being righted and that's my argument prasanjit for all his economic models which he's uh, you know entitled to hold you are raising the left freight ran rates. west bengal into the ground which he knows <coughs> no no one minute one minute now since prasanjit raised the issue about corporate india <laughs> let me tell you corporate india has been extremely irresponsible and extremely selfish when it comes to nation building in many cases but the fact is when governments try to right a wrong, we can't be hypocritical and deny them that, uh, that, that opportunity. Finally, you talked about corruption. You also talked about the lack of infrastructure. Now, Arnab, let me ask you, when you don't have a cold chain operating in this country, which it should, you don't have infrastructure, you don't have bridges, you don't have roads, no, you don't no, have no, sanitation, no, no, you don't have primary health, you don't have primary education. Absolutely. Where the hell is the money going to come from? Yeah, because I'll give you a simple answer to that. I mean, when somebody takes a diesel car, money when, when somebody takes a diesel car on a toll bridge, then he's paying more for the diesel to subsidize the food subsidy bill. And by the time he crosses the toll bridge, the government which was supposed to provide him the infrastructure is also make him, making him pay a huge amount to pay for crossing the toll bridge. The effective rate of taxation in the country for the highest class is 50%. What are you talking about, Sohel? 
I mean, let's let's be a little fair so what to is, those sections so what we is call your rich. Solution? Okay, no, wait, the solution. We are the, very, the solution we are very is good. The we solution is to cut the subsidies. We have problems in this country for every solution. The, what is your solution? The solution is that you have, we have let, problems in this country for every solution. No, no, I am not giving any solutions, but I am saying the the problem in this country is and Prakash Javadekar, this question goes to you. The subsidy bill today is seventy five thousand crore rupees more than what had been budgeted for. And let nobody fool themselves. This diesel price increase will go into subsidizing that extra subsidy. And political parties will not no, take a position. Even the BJP will not. Because no political no, party can dare to question subsidies in a pre-election year. One minute. One minute. Let us understand. We have shown the way out. You were talking about 45% corruption in the PDS. The Chhattisgarh model has been appreciated by everybody but not followed by all because <laughs> it is difficult but it is success and you are coming out you are you are lessening all that uh, bad element the issue of nrega my state maharashtra i belong to there and we started in 1972 the employment guarantee scheme sir, please, this is based. Sir, please. but there is a subtle difference in employment one minute employment guarantee scheme was a quantity based salary a part and b it was creating real assets e, here it is no real assets and that is creating the real hole in the whole scheme the issue is on all fronts sir does should economic appeasement no stop no i am asking you sir please please but that let, is sir should should one thing yes one, should That's one minute i am going to simply ask the bjp spokesperson this i'll ask the congress also when they come sir Excellent. you are the bjp spokesperson you are on record and your time starts now yes. my question to you is should all forms of economic appeasement <laughs> stop should all economic appeasement I stop i support only productive subsidies sir i we support productive subsidies not unproductive NREGA subsidies nrega is proven i don't have to prove to you that not many productive subsidies are being created should nrega stop No, but we should create productive subsidies. No, PDS, the PDS system sector. has collapsed. Food subsidy, this food subsidy, which is going to be increased, no. is going to be we a waste. Are you against way. right to food? We have shown the way. See, so why? I I tell you, in Madhya Pradesh, if we are increasing. Uh, so I am not. I am asking you to take a position on your belief. Eighteen percent achieved, but we are taking position by example, leading exa leading from the front. in if we are increasing the agriculture growth rate to 18% in madhya pradesh successively and more than double digit for last 10 years in gujarat that makes farmers happy sir i so let me tell you the way sir don't subsidies sir madhya pradesh has the highest tax on petroleum products compared to any Indian state. So don't talk about so Madhya Pradesh. What product. I have, the only I am talking about agriculture. So I am talking about petroleum slash the tax that the state earns. If you are so concerned about the Amadmi. <laughs> no, no. <coughs> let us understand that Congress will raise so the there also the middle class is a soft target for you to. And you will ask. You will no, no. You will ask states to bring it down. It is foolish because Goa did it once. They he bring down to zero percent. So seven rupees in one day, uh, it was reduced by seven Sir, rupees. To... And in one month, Congress raised the petrol price by seven rupees. The so what is the it's game? Not, you know, it's not Congress, BJP, Madhya Pradesh, and Punjab have the highest recoverable sales But tax on petrol I'm and you. diesel. That's not my issue. Question simply is: <coughs> the middle class seems to be bearing most of the burden. I invite, as I thank all my panelists, I invite, I invite responses from them. I want to hear from our panelists on whether you feel. eventually in a pre election year the middle class will be made to pay the most is that fair to my panelists thank you very much